I'm Dr. Stephanie Canale, and I'm a physician and founder of Lactation Lab. We're on a mission to empower moms with, to be their best selves and help their children thrive by providing them with data that's never before been available. Um, I don't know why I can't. Oh, there we go. Nutrition during the first 1,000 days of life is critical for infant development. It's a time of enormous vulnerability and also really presents a tremendous opportunity to impact lifelong health. Breast milk is recommended as a sole source of nutrition for the first six months of age, ideally until age two. Um, and now moms are back. The pendulum has swung in the other direction. So breastfeeding is at a hundred year high again, due to the health benefits where 95% of moms are breastfeeding versus only 40% in 2010. And for every 5% increase in the number of moms who breastfeed, there's a direct $500 million savings in annual healthcare costs. Despite these facts though, what is um, the nutritional composition of a human, uh, of a mom's milk still remains a black box. 92% of moms report having issues with breastfeeding and 50% report stopping because they think their milk isn't nutritious enough or they have recurrent infections. Um, so we started the first ever breast milk testing um, company. Our lab is on site at UCLA um, in Los Angeles. And um, how it works is a mom collects a sample in the comfort of her own home, freezes it, and then sends it into our lab for, um, for processing. She receives individualized recommendations on how to tweak her diet to optimize the nutrition of her milk. We sell through, um, we have three tiers of kits. We sell basic standard and premium through our own channels, Amazon, as well as our B2B enterprise clients. Our customers love us. And what we're getting exciting to launch is, is based on these results. So this year alone, testing the last 2000 samples, we found that over 20% of moms are simply not meeting one key nutrient. And so what we're getting ready to do is bring the lab into the mom's home and to the doctor's office. So we're getting ready to launch the first ever AI driven companion, uh, a breastfeeding companion app coupled with a virtual lactation consultant and at home testing. So we launched, um, this is the virtual lactation consultant and we launched the first ever mastitis test strip. So this is really to take the guessing out of whether or not a mom has an infection. And we hope that this will lead to fewer unnecessary prescriptions. The current standard of care is a mom thinks she has mastitis, calls her doctor, gets a seven to 14 day course of antibiotics. We know that this can adversely not only affect mom, but baby as well. So we're hoping, hope, hoping that this will decrease the number of um, overprescribing of antibiotics and how the test strip is done and read through our app using software that reads the test strip as a spectrometer. What we're also really excited to um, present is the first ever point of care macronutrient breast milk testing strip which is gonna be a powerful, powerful tool for targeted fortification in the NICU. This is basically gonna replace our basic kit. So a mom will be able in three minutes know exactly what's in her system. The advantages of our system is that it's a point of care test. So it only takes three minutes. We're gonna use just a tiny bit of milk, 30 microliters versus these big bulky lab equipments that use mid and near infrared analysis, which require 10 to 15 milliliters of milk. And that's an issue for some of the moms um, with trouble producing milk and of course feeding a preemie. This will allow for targeted fortification so that NICU babies can meet the AAP targets, which we know have shown improved growth, neurodevelopmental incomes, decrease, uh, outcomes, decreased morbidity, mortality. And this is in particular for the very low birth weight infants. So no more bulky lab equipment and we are showing better accuracy than the mid and near infrared analyzers. We um, are excited to talk about, we've closed our seed round. Um, we're about six weeks away from launching our at-home um, test kits and our virt virtual lactation consultant app. And we're really excited to do so with the key partners we've already established um, with, including Salesforce, Disney, Milk Stork, and so forth. So our asks today are really, um, as we're developing this point of care solution and um, looking for a solution in the NICU, we'd like to connect with payers, hospital systems, and um, to further the pilot studies that we are planning on doing in the NICU. Our team is poised for growth. Um, we've created a patient-centered holistic approach to maternal and child health, really focusing on breastfeeding as the core connection, and we're excited to connect. Thank you. 
Awesome. Thank you, Stephanie. Every time I hear you present, I think, why wasn't this around when I was having kids? It just makes so much sense. Um, question from the chat. Uh, what is the LTV to CAC ratio for the consumer customers? So our, we basically, we have about 40% of moms that are doing tests. Um, our average order values uh, $210. And um, yeah, what we're, what we're noticing is that we're, we're getting a bit of a different, um, we've had a lot of uptake recently, more on the enterprise side. So with the data to show that um, we've had a lot of enterprises actually, it's, it's staggering statistics when you see how many moms that are breastfeeding that leave the workplace and that you know these benefits really do need to be enhanced. So we're actually seeing a little bit of our, our customer shift less being direct to consumer and more on the enterprise side. And we think that'll be true too as we move forward with the, um, with the NICU and point of care testing. Another question related to the point of care testing, when you launch that point of care testing, does the direct to consumer business go away or what's your strategy there? We're continuing the direct to consumer, but we're also going through the FDA process where 510K, we've already had initial conversations with them. We've, we've just submitted um, our application. So we know that we're low priority because we're not a COVID solution, but um, we do think it's important to, to go that way as well. Also from a consumer facing standpoint to just see FDA cleared, I think will go really far, especially in the space. That makes sense. And how are you thinking about integration with other maternity or family solutions, um, for example, within an existing employer ecosystem? Yeah, I mean, we're, um, you know, we're looking at partnerships in terms of, you know, like mavens of the world and health plans are really, um, there's been, with the pandemic, I guess one of the silver linings is that, you know, telehealth has boomed, but also online services for lactation, help and support. I think payers are finally getting that this is this is an area where they just invest a few dollars and it, they see these huge returns. So we're getting a lot of interest from there. We understand we're you know we're, we're one piece of the puzzle here, but um, we're excited to partner with folks. So yeah, great. Do you have plans to develop more at home tests? Yeah, we think this is the way to go. I mean, I think everybody wants their answers yesterday, yeah. and they want the results immediately. Um, and so we will be developing our, um, so our standard kit ends up at an at-home test trip as well. So that's probably, I'd say middle of next year, that should be ready to go. Awesome. And uh, time for one more question. Can you tell us more about the, the pilot that you're planning in the NICU? Yeah, so we're excited. So we've been talking to the CPQCC, which is the um, coalition of NICUs in the state of California, and they're really excited because there's a lot of data to show that this individualized fortification really does change outcomes in little ones. So we, um, we're looking at partnering. We already have a, a pilot that we're working on with CHLA Hospital and Chalk Children's Hospital, um, and then they're doing a larger study called the GAIN study, obviously. <laughs> Well, well, uh, you know, well suited acronym here. So, um, yeah, so hopefully we'll be, um, we'll be part of that in, in, in many more NICUs, but we also want to connect outside of California. 